Hi everyone, welcome to GoFries and in this video we'll have a look at the Aorus H5 gaming headset. Now let's go over the details of this headset. As you can see, it is of a suspension headband design. It has the Aorus look and feel, even with, even with the Aorus name here with the logo. And that's where the RGB LED is. It is also one that supports multiple platforms and it has inline controls. Even the microphone here is detachable. Now those are the features of this headphone. In my experience of using this headphone, the 50mm beryllium drivers are awesome. They are loud. I can hear my positioning very well. Check out this footage of my gaming session at Apex Legend where I scored a victory with a partner 2 versus 3. Now gaming wise is good, yes I like it and the fact that the mic is detachable is a plus point. It is bendable but it does not stick in position well so even if you move it away it tends to flow back to your face so you could just detach it. And speaking of mic, from my experience the microphone is soft. No matter how I set the settings in the Windows software it is really soft. And speaking of software the Aura software for the H5 is absolutely disappointing because again, you have to install two softwares. First, you install the Aura engine that does really nothing. And then you install the RGB Fusion just to control the RGB LED. And speaking of RGB LED, if you notice by now, the H5 is black colored with orange accent, pretty much like every other Aura product. So changing the LED to any other color would look out of place. Say you change it to green or blue or yellow, whatever, maybe yellow will fit fine, but definitely not green, not blue. It will just be a mismatch with the orange and black theme. Now come to the inline controls. It's good that it has inline controls, but there's no marking. Typically there should be a label that says which one is on and off, of which I do not see any on this. Now that's a disappointing part of which Aura should look into. And then there's this multi-platform support. Yes, you can use USB on the PC and it will power the RGB LED. And then you have mics and the 3.5 millimeter jacks for a phone. But try to use this on the phone and imagine having this plug in and two others dangling around. It just does not work. But one thing I like about the Aorus H5 is that it has a very, 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 very long cable. Now the Aorus H5 being a headphone as it is, retails at RM339, which is a hefty price tag to pay for a headset as such. In the US, it should be about US60, which I think there are many other options that are better and cost less, like what I mentioned. The mic is soft, it does not bend well, although good thing that it's detachable. The multi-platform option is good but it's dangling ugly like this. And then there's a disappointing software that pretty much does nothing except to burden your system with two additional things running. So with that, I do enjoy the headset. I think it should be priced a lot lower considering the build quality that's just average and software that does nothing. I'm still giving it a bronze badge because I like it. I enjoyed the 50mm beryllium drivers. It's loud, it's clear, and the ear cups are comfortable. That's good. It's just that Aorus, you really need to look into the software and the pricing to make your product more appealing to the masses. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye-bye.